performance of the night. Dana wants to give four performance of the night bonuses. First one is to Anthony Johnson, second one to Gegard Masasi, Macwan Amarkani, and Kelly Robinson. Woo! Uh, congratulations on the big win. Thank uh, you. You made quite a splash uh, with your with your fight. Uh, you've got a style that's very fan friendly. How far do you think you can go? What are your ambitions for this year, 2015? Well, this was my first time when I trained for an MMA fight. Uh, before this, I just went with my background, wrestling. So. I think it was good with six months you can learn to do flying knee with eight seconds, stop the fight, that's something awesome. And I would like that UFC will give me some time to train and be better and I will entertain people more. First question for Mahlan, uh, after your debut, how are you feeling as you're in the post like pressure? How good is this feeling? I, I enjoy it. This is like a... This is, I didn't expect this. I thought I would do 15 minutes of fight and go back to my hotel room and that's it. Now when I'm sitting here with these great fighters, it's a dream come true. With 50 Gs. With 50 Gs, baby! <laughs> now that Makwan is uh, arrived, any chance for a finish show? Yeah, I think we, we, we talked about it the other day, you know, we, we'd love to go to Finland, we know we've got you know, loads of fans out there who keep asking us to come, um, and we're trying to work everything out, it, it's not as simple as just turning up and putting on a show, as you see tonight, you know, we've got 30,000 people in the arena and we want to do some great things, but I think for the likes of Macman, it's his first night, you know, he's Mr. Finland, he can go home now, you know, be proud of what he's, he's achieved tonight, and uh, Hopefully we'll have them back with us uh, pretty soon. That's right. <laughs> Mark one, you said in the, the press scrum that should you receive the bonus, you were going to buy a bed for your mom. Now that that bonus is a reality, that's life changing, isn't it? Yeah, never had that much money, so it's strange. And it was a true story. Uh, me, there's a, me and my sister and my mom living in the same house, so we have only two, uh, two rooms, so my mom gave the rooms to us and she sleeps in the living room on a mat and it, it's not nice, but what can I do? Uh, she gave the bed for us, so now when I go home and I move to Stockholm, I would give her, her the room and I will buy a, I think with the 10,000, the bed that fly. <laughs> I have a question to Mark one. Uh, there's, a, there's a clip when you're eating an apple on the, on the net and it's got more than 20,000 uh, comments. Can you tell us what the secret is? And what's so special with your e apple eating? I don't know, the, uh, I got like, thousand friend requests and 90% are from girls and they all send me messages that uh, I love your smile and wait how you eat the apple it gets like uh, 900,000 views it's, uh, it's pretty huge for eating apple you might put it on, on ufc.com for you so you'll get fans too <laughs> um, obviously there was a bit of controversy if it was an early stoppage or not, so... Um, wow, your accent is so <laughs> hard. Uh, Joe Rogan seemed to want to start a discussion with you at the, at your post-fight interview. So what went through your mind when he, when he asked you if, if it was an early stoppage or not? So did, did it bother you at all? Or? No, it, just did, it didn't bother me, but I thought uh, he was a drunk because Andy Over <laughs> went for double leg with the referee and the referee tapped, so that's... <laughs> what should I say? The uh, referee made his decision and if you ask for me, I said he was out. So the, will a rematch, be, uh, a rematch be an option for you or do you just want to move on? And, uh... Against who? Against Over. Come on, man. <laughs> Eight seconds, you want 
Less than that. <laughs> I've got a question to Makwan. Well, first of all, congratulations on a great victory. And I wanted to ask you uh, whether you watched the previous fight of Andy Ogle against Maximo Blanco because uh, he did exactly the same thing also right after the start of the fight. He just kicked him right in the face and got him into some serious trouble. Uh, when I came to Stockholm, I said to Andreas Michael, the coach of uh, Alexander, I said, ah, I thought that I should do flying knee. And he said, no, man, you should wrestle. That's your background. That's your strength. And today I felt I should do flying knee because I watched only one fight of Andy Ogle and I saw that he always runs to the middle and stops there. So I'm a smart guy. <laughs> uh, just one question for Gegard. Uh, 